had to go get myself a cough drop. I tell you, it sucks being, it sucks being sick on Christmas, you know, or not so much sick, but just having a hoarse voice or whatever. You know, when you try to talk or whatnot, it's hard, and you know, your uh, voice gets all rough or whatnot, and it's I don't know. It's, oh well, oh well. But anyway, uh, now it's the time, and I'm gonna rush through these kind of quick because uh, we're, we're almost running out of time. But uh, these are some movies in my vault of stuff that I have. Mostly they're all 80s movies, a few 90s movies as well uh, that, are, <clears throat> that I think are pretty cool anyway, are pretty neat as far as uh, movies. They're not holiday movies, but they're just a, a, a variety of, like I said, I was going to start looking through, you know, since my order has officially, is complete now, now when I do a DVD update, it's going to be uh, just stuff I've had in my collection because it, it doesn't hurt to go back and look, take a look at some stuff you bought, you know, back in the day rather than just keep updated with all new stuff, you know, because you get so much new stuff and then you forget about the old stuff, you know, it's like, I have a movie, but I don't remember ever getting it, or, you know, I haven't watched it so long, there's so much dust on it, well, you know, anyway, there's a few movies that I have in my collection that, a lot of these are actually pretty, pretty cool, some, uh, a couple I have not seen yet, but, uh, but I will. I've uh, just been so busy or whatever, but now that I have some time to, to check it out, I probably will. Well, these two, the first uh, set here is the Teen Wolf and Teen Wolf 2 set. Now, a lot of people talk about Teen Wolf, of course, you know, the first Teen Wolf, Michael J. Fox, because that's obviously the better Teen Wolf. But nobody talks about Teen Wolf 2, the one with Jason Bateman. Uh, Jason Bateman's sister, actually, uh, Justine Bateman, was, uh, I believe, in uh, the... Family Ties, if I'm not mistaken, as far as I know. I think so, yeah. With uh, Michael Keaton, or Michael Keaton. Michael J. Fox. So it's kind of weird how it kind of spanned it like that, you know. Uh, where, well, you know, how the, the two characters kind of run into each other or whatever. How it's kind of similar because they're related or whatever. Uh, anyway. Uh, not much for special features. The, this is the, as far as I know, the only copy of Teen Wolf and Teen Wolf 2 that is out there as far as a DVD edition. They, what they should do is release a 20th anniversary edition or a special edition of both these movies, put them back together again, and add a shitload of special features because there is so much in this movie that they could talk about and, and, and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, Teen Wolf 1 and Teen Wolf 2, two classics. Oh, this is the Teen Wolf 1, what most people don't know is this is the movie that got Michael J. Fox start uh, the hit role in back Mar as Marvin Fly in Back to the Future. And Talent Scout was looking at the time when they were making the movie, and because of how big or how popular Michael Keaton was getting because of Family Ties, uh, this movie, this movie, yeah, got him his role as Marvin Fly in Back to the Future. So. And the other... Michael J. Fox stuff I got is the Michael J. Fox uh, four pack, which is just a variety of classic movies. And I say classic. I know people don't like it when I say classic all the time because not everything I, I you know, not everything I, I, I own is a classic. Obviously not. But if to me personally, it's a classic. You know, just because I that's how I rate it. The secret of my success: the hard way for love or money and greedy. I'm a huge Michael J. Fox fan. You know, I have a lot of Michael J. Fox movies, you know, including even Doc Hollywood, you know. So, a good collection, only costs $13 at Walmart. That's a hell of a deal compared to what you would pay for all these individually. I have another collection like that, which is the John Candy collection, but this is in a three-pack. Yeah, I guess this is in a three-pack, and this has Uncle Buck, Great Outdoors, and a movie that first time ever we released on DVD, Gone Berserk. And Gone Berserk was a, a classic movie as well from uh, back in 1980. I don't even say what it was. I believe it was 1983, I think. I'm not too sure. Shit. Oh, shit. There we go. Let's see, yeah, 1983. And it stars pretty much everybody who was uh, involved with uh, SCTV at the time. Uh, but I watched that. It was great. Of course, Uncle Buck 
and great outdoors, classics of course, just like playing straight out of automobiles, you know. Who could ever forget, you know, Black Malaloma, Molly Russell's war, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. And then of course I've listened to the Bo Grumbles and the Laugh Laugh and and uh, you know, John Candy talking dirty to a laundry machine or, or wash and dryer. It's like I'm gonna stick my load into you if you like it. No matter or no. I'm gonna stick my load in, in you whether you like it or not, which is hilarious, you know, which was you know, it's talking about putting uh, 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 clothes in a little lot or washer dryer, but the it makes it seem like it's actually filthy, but it's not really that filthy, but anyway. Alright, and the last few movies that I have, a few anyway, last three to make this to finish this up. I'll go quickly. The Bill and Ted Excellent Adventures and Bogus Journey Two Disc Collection. Uh, of both the movies. I have yet to see these, but of course these are what probably redefined the eighties, I'm sure. And uh I will eventually get a chance to uh, see these here eventually. Another one, Super Mario Brothers. A lot of people, it's like a lot of people have forgotten about Super Mario Brothers. I think, you know, the way they made this movie was a absolutely perfect. And the characters that they used to, to portray Mario and Luigi were just absolutely perfect. I remember uh, owning, or actually, no, I think I saw this in theaters back in 93 when it came out. And I remember the original poster, and and, and when they used the original, this was actually it was used as the one of the promotional posters, and looked pretty good I thought, uh, and so the fact that they used this when they released the DVD, it's the only DVD that's been released of it thus far, uh, that they used the original poster for it. So I like that when, when movies do that when they use the original posters that they use to promote it as the covers of the VHS's or the DVD's. And last but not least, I got, finally, the I Love the 80's edition of Big Top Pee Wee. And I also have Pee Wee's Big Adventure as well. Not ashamed to admit that. A lot of people say, oh jeez, what's wrong with that guy? He has Pee Wee's Playhouse, or he has you know, Pee Wee movies, Paul River movies. You know, there must be something wrong with him. Hell, if I, if I had the Pee Wee's uh, uh, Playhouse collection, I'd be proud to show it on the internet. I'm not ashamed to, to own all the great movies that I grew up with. I, I know a lot of people give me crap a lot about, you know, you're 25 years old, you need to start growing up or whatever. It's like, why? I mean, what's wrong with enjoying what my childhood has brought me, you know? I am very responsible as an adult, of course. You know, I take care of my bills, you know, I take care of myself, you know, do the things that, you know, adults have to do. But what's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, reach out for the little kid inside you and uh, you know watching classics like this Big Top Pee Wee a really great movie I recommend most people have seen it uh, I won't give too much away I won't even give anything away I just say rec you know I recommend you get this movie or renting it and that's pretty much all I got sorry for going too quick in this last part just because of time but no oh, shit just because of time and because of, uh, you know, I just want to get through some of these quickly because my voice is kind of going out. But uh, anyway, that's uh, all I have for you t uh, this time around. See you again for another DVD rant. And, and I'm thinking that after the new year uh, or when the new year approaches or when 2009 approaches, uh, Brian and I will actually start doing some better, better uh, around the town videos. Because I've looked at a few of the ones that I've done. And, and they're they're okay, but obviously they need improvement, you know. But uh, so hopefully we'll we'll start doing some better uh, around the town videos, uh, wherever we go, who knows. But uh, anyway, if I don't do any more updates uh, before the end of the year, happy, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and remember, two thousand nine as two thousand eight was cresting the year of changes. 2009, as far as I'm concerned, will be crested as the year where anything's 